Hi, it's the Three Minute Sociologist again, and today I'd like to look at a question that one of our students suggested. Is sociology really culturally relative? I mean, is it different from culture to culture? And that having been said, are there any tools that we can use across cultures? Well, let's take these step by step. First of all, depending on what continent you happen to be studying sociology or who's writing your textbooks, that particular ethnic or racial or continental group may very well be the center of the examples. If you're reading an American text, very likely you'll get American examples. But I want to point out that the sociological perspective and the sociological imagination can be used across cultures. It doesn't have to be a European or an African or a Middle Eastern view. It doesn't have to be a focus on any of those particular areas. The reality is the perspective and then what C. Wright Mills called in 1959 the sociological imagination can be used in a variety of settings. It can be used in societies, it can be used in organizations, and it can be used at micro levels on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me take these apart. Turns out that I'm an applied sociologist and been using this stuff for a long time. So let me share with you some of the tools and some of my favorite tools that I use when I went move into any new culture or new situation. First of all, when I move into an organization or a situation, I walk in with the notion that cultures exist. That's important in and of itself. No matter where you are, there are patterns, pattern ways of life, beliefs, values, norms. Look for them. Now, I may not understand a culture, and very often I've been in situations where I freely admitted to people, I don't know what your culture is. I need to learn it. But do understand that that way of life is there, whether you like it or not, and it may not be the one that you're used to. There are both formal and informal rules uh, that need to be uh, catered to and understood. Secondly, um, human action is organized. Now, it may seem chaotic, and truly often is, but it's organized and patterned to some degree. And this provides a structure for people to live, a, a way to pattern their life so they don't have to reinvent every single activity to get what they need. And within those structures, there are status hierarchies. That is to say, some people think they're more important than others. The question is, how do you define that? I mean, that's your job and my job, no matter what culture you're in, uh, to find out uh, why some people are seen more to be more important than others. Thirdly, there are always power and influence centers in human societies. Look for them. They're not always formal and they're not always obvious. Whether you go culture to culture, whatever culture you happen to, happen to be in, look for power and influence. Fourth, social change. And it occurs everywhere. But what you need to look at is what's the acceptable variety and speed, velocity of social change? And how does it present itself? That's your challenge, whatever culture you happen to be in. Fifth, some social phenomena exist because they simply are collectively defined that way. Now, that sounds like circular logic, but it sort of is the notion that something is because we collectively believe it is. And that's sufficient to make people act in pattern ways. And last, and I guess this is more of C. Wright Mill's thinking, we're both autobiographical and biographical. You know, an autobiography is something you write, and so hence you're unique, spontaneous, and creative. But a large portion of you is biographical, and in that sense, that means that somebody else wrote your world, wrote your story. Depending on which gender you happen to be, how gender happens to be defined at this point in history has a big impact on you. How old you are may define who you are. Where you entered the social system is not something you necessarily had anything to do with. So, in a sense, what happened to you and who you are is a function of those societal uh, forces and historic forces riding on you. Well, those are some tools I always take with me, and I thought maybe they could be used across culture. Enjoy that. Take care.